Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer all your Spotify playlists to Apple Music using Stamp. Now Stamp is a free app that stands for Spotify to Apple Music Playlist and pretty much what it does is it uses a CSV file created through Exportify to transfer all your Spotify playlists to Apple Music. Now it doesn't do it automatically just by automatically popping them up into Apple Music. It'll actually automate the search and add to playlist clicks that you need to do in iTunes in order to create a playlist. So to get started, the first thing I need to do is go to the Exportify playlist. So you just go ahead and open up that up. And then right when you get there, hit get started and then it will ask you to sign in to Spotify. So all you have to do is sign in and then grant it access to your playlist. Now that you have your playlist brought up, you can select which one you want to export. If you want to export them all, hit that button up top. But if you want to just do individual playlists, all you have to do is hit the, that export button. Okay, now that you have that CSV file in your downloads folder, you go ahead and use that one. But if you downloaded all of your playlists, you will have to unarchive that zip file and then use those CSV files that are located inside that. Next, download the Stamp app through the developer's website. The link to that can be found over at Gadget Hack, so be sure to check that out. And after you have that downloaded, extract that file and then move that Stamp app to your Applications folder. Now that that application is installed, go to your System Preferences, head to Security and Privacy, and first, you're going to want to make sure that under general, you have allowed apps downloaded from anywhere to be ran on your Mac. And after that, go to privacy and under accessibility, make sure Stamp has a check mark next to it. If not, unlock your Mac by inputting your password and then add that check mark next to Stamp. Now, all that you have to do is to open up Stamp and allow it to open. And then all you will see is a browser to search for the CSV file that you downloaded. So the one that I have is under my downloads folder. So you go ahead and select that one. Then iTunes will automatically start searching and adding songs. So you can see right up here, you have that. And after it finishes downloading and adding the songs to the new playlist, you'll be able to find that from your playlist menu. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.